Today you are in for a treat, my boys. I've created, I think, the most difficult seven day mental toughness challenge on the internet. First, a disclaimer. This challenge is 18 plus. Reason why, it's tough. It's very, very tough. It's not for the faint of heart and it's also not for young men that are still boys. It's not, if you're a 13 year old and you're watching this, don't do the challenge, okay? Disclaimer, this challenge is 18 plus and you take it on at your own risk. I don't want somebody's mum going into their room, seeing them sleeping on the fucking floor with no pillows, and them going, see you have testosterone told me to do it. So 18 plus boys, okay? If you're under that age, you can watch this video, but don't do it. If you're deciding whether or not to do this challenge, let's go through a couple of things before we get into it. If you cannot keep your word to yourself or others, and you'll notice this in your life, if you keep saying things, saying that you're going to do them, and you just cannot get them done, you, you just fucking lie to yourself day in, day out, this challenge is for you. If you are depressed, a lot of people message me every day. I think a lot of young men confused and lost in today's world, and I know why. It's because they live in comfort, and in comfort it's very easy to get unhappy. So if you are a depressed person, if you feel particularly sad, this challenge is for you. It's gonna show you what you can actually achieve as a man because this challenge is unlike anything else you've probably ever seen on the internet. But you, every single one of you, I guarantee, if we're in the same room, if we did this together, me and you, and I was shouting at you, every single one of you could do this challenge. This challenge is not impossible for any man. It's a matter of the mind. This is only for the men who have the strong, only, only men who can really control their minds Will complete this challenge and it's going to show you that you can win if you're used to losing if your life's not going the way you want this challenge is going to show you that you can win it's going to inspire courage in yourself again okay day one the morning it's a physical challenge remember this is day one so it's going to be the easiest of the seven days 100 push-ups as soon as you wake up. That means you roll out of bed. You do not look at your phone. You do not have a sip of water. You get out of bed and you do 100 push-ups and you do nothing else until that is done. First step, fucking hard things in the morning. Mental toughness. Go out, get it done. Follow that up with a cold shower. You've just done 100 push-ups, for Christ's sake. You should be sweating. Cold showers, no problem. You don't get any hot at the end. Just let go of hot showers for the next seven days. You're not having hot showers. You don't deserve hot showers. You're going to fucking appreciate a hot shower on day eight when you finish this next seven days and you finally appreciate some of the things that you take for granted every day. Afternoon, or whatever time you can fit this in, you're going to do a 5K timed run. Fucking run as fast as you can, 5K time it. And your mental challenge is play a game of chess. That's not even a challenge at all. If you can't play a game of chess, God help you. Because that's fun. I love playing chess. I only just started recently playing. That's why you see it in my videos. I'm, I like chess now. But play a game of chess. It's going to mentally stimulate you. Some of you will never do that. You, you will have never really played chess. So play a game of chess. Play it on chess.com. Play it with a relative. It's a great game to play. That's day one out of the way. Not too tough. Come on, boys. We can handle that. Day two. 5 a.m. wake up. I'm sorry. It's got to be done. This is discomfort. 5 a.m. wake up. You're going to be getting up at that time. And this time it's not 100 push-ups. This time it's 100 burpees as soon as you wake up. Sickening, horrible burpees. When you should be asleep in bed, you're going to be doing burpees in the cold on your floor. So yes, that is your first challenge of the day. Followed by, straight after the burpees, drink some water, no shower, no nothing, put your gym clothes on, boom, 10k time run, no music. No music on any of the runs. You're running uh, purely mental. This is, this is where you start to get your mind under control. When you are on those runs, it's your time to think, to, to talk to yourself about the man that you are, to become a champion, to show yourself that you are a champion. This is your Rocky montage. This seven days is your chance to be Rocky. You are going to recreate your mind. When you get back, cold shower. Obviously very easy when you have a cold shower. You'll be hot from your run. If you're not hot, you didn't run hard enough. Now... The next mental challenge will be incredibly difficult for those of you that are addicted to your phone, for those of you that are addicted to stimulation from the internet. 30 minutes, you sit in silence in a room, no distractions at all. You just sit there silently in a dark room and you just think. You just sit there and think. You just let thoughts come in out of your mind. You sit there focused, 
thinking about the man you want to become for 30 minutes. And tonight, even though you're going to be tired, you're going to be sore from your 100 burpees, you're going to be fucking tired from your 10K, you're going to sleep on the floor. But it's okay, you can have a pillow and a blanket. You can have a pillow and a blanket, but you're going to sleep on the floor next to your bed. Because you got too used to that bed. You got too used to sleeping in that nice warm bed every night. That every time you get in that bed, you don't even appreciate it anymore. You don't even see it as a luxury. You just think, oh, get in bed, wake up, get in bed. You're going to start appreciating these things. We're going to bring some happiness, some joy back into your life. And we're going to do that by taking away the things you've forgotten to appreciate. So tonight, on day two, you'll be sleeping on the floor, my friend. Day three, nice and easy. This is a recovery day because you had hardly any sleep last night because you slept on the floor. You've been hitting runs every day and if you haven't done that for a while, it's going to be taking its toll on your body. But it's still a chance for mental toughness. This is a challenge I do personally in most days. You go into the sauna, set the timer for 20 minutes and you battle it out in the sauna. 20 minutes is tough. After about 10 minutes, you'll be feeling like your, your lungs are burning, you're going to pass out, you want to get out of that sauna. So unless you're really talented at saunas, unless you've been doing a lot of saunas, this is going to be fucking tough. So 20 minutes in the sauna on that timer, followed by a five minute ice bath. If you can find a facility with sauna and ice bath, I have one very close to me, so that's easy for me to do. I did this today. Makes you feel fantastic. If you can't do that, buy some ice, five minute ice bath at home, forget about the sauna. Mental challenge. Read 100 pages of a self-development book. You choose the book, but you're going to read 100 pages back to back. You're just going to sit there, you're going to focus your mind, and you're going to read 100 pages of a book. You're going to cut out the time, you're going to read 100 pages back to back. Now, tonight you can sleep in the bed, but no pillow and no covers. They go on the floor. It doesn't matter if you're cold, tonight you're going to be cold. And you're going to appreciate those covers when you finally get them back. Day number four. Today we will fast like gladiators. Gladiators would go and have huge feasts and then they would not have food for many days and they would battle and barely sleep and they would fight each other to the death and they would fight lions and tigers and bears and they'd inviscerate their enemies and they'd storm enemy castles and they'd run around with a hundred pounds of ironclad gear on and then they wouldn't eat and they wouldn't sleep and then they'd have a huge feast and they'd fornicate with many, many women. Now, we're going to just do the fasting part of this challenge. The fornicating, that's up to you. The, the pillaging of villages, and that's up to you. But I recommend the fast 24 hours without food. You can have pink salt, Himalayan sea salt in your water. You can add lemon to your water. You can have two black coffees throughout the day. If you need that little energy perk, you need a little boost up. You're having trouble getting through the day. That's allowed. But no more, no food for one day. Boys, this is easy. You do not need food for one day. And tomorrow you're actually gonna appreciate what you put in your mouth for once, rather than just fucking shoving food in there and not, not being thankful for it. So it's a, it's a gratitude thing, really. Now, today's workout is 100 crunches. Let's get those abs hurting and 100 push-ups, followed by a 5K timed run. On this 5K timed run, you will beat day one score. If you don't beat it, 100 burpees. Tonight, You've earned your bed, soldier. You've earned a night in your bed with the covers, pillows and all, and tonight you will appreciate it. And tomorrow, you'll be breaking the fast with some delicious watermelon in the morning, followed by a 10K run. 10K run, and you beat the time from day two. Don't beat the time from day two, as in the last one, 100 burpees. Today's mental challenge, sit alone in the dark, no distractions, no phone, no music, no books, no nothing for one hour. This will be the hardest thing you've done because our minds are running from something. And when you sit there in the dark, you have to look at yourself and you have to think about the things that you've done and you have to think about the person that you're becoming. So that, that hour in the dark, that'll be harrowing, but you need to get it done. That's what's going to make you tough. You're, tur you're, you're turning into a soldier day by day. We are turning you into a warrior. And tonight... You're back on the floor, my friend. You can take a pillow, you can take a blanket, but you are sleeping on the floor. And then you're waking up at 4 a.m. It's fucking God's hour. That is the hour for the fucking warriors. I don't know many people that wake up 4 a.m. Straight away, 4 a.m., put those clothes on. You'll be tired as fuck. You just slept on the floor. Body's aching. Put the clothes on. 
10k time run. You beat yesterday's time, you don't beat it because you're being lazy, because you're being sluggish. 100 push-ups when you get back. Cold shower immediately. Your mental challenge. Now you're going to be tired, you're going to be worn out, you're going to be mentally fatigued. You've got to win three games of chess and you do not stop until you've won those three games. Night time, you get to sleep in the bed again, but you have to set an alarm for 2 a.m. So in the middle of your nice slumber, your alarm's going to go off. Get out of bed, you lazy, horrible bastard. And then you've got to do 100 push-ups and back to sleep. Just to fuck your sleep schedule up so you actually appreciate a full night's sleep. The final day, the day of reckoning. Morning, 5k run, fastest yet, or 100 burpees, followed by 100 push-ups and a cold shower. The afternoon, 10k run, fastest yet, or 100 burpees. And your mental challenge, your challenge for the day, after you finish this, you have finished the challenge. You're going to sit down with a notepad and pen for 30 minutes. And you write down everything you learnt about yourself on this challenge. You're going to write down everything you learnt in those cold nights, the nights on the floor with no blankets, and that hour sitting on your own, the fucking time in the sauna, the five minute ice bath you did, the pain you've been through. What did you learn about yourself over this past few days? And I can guarantee, if you actually finish this, two things are going to happen. You will regain your confidence. If you have lost it, if you have low confidence... If you don't believe in yourself, if you've got self-doubt, this will eradicate it. Guaranteed, this challenge will eradicate your self-doubt. Because you've just done something that nearly no one, no one in the modern day would even attempt. And you've done it for no other reason, for no prize, but to challenge yourself. And that's, that's, that's a hell of a man. That is one hell of a man who can do that. And number two is you will feel happier. If you were depressed going into this challenge, you would have found newfound appreciation for the simple things in life. When you've slept on the bed, when you've slept on the floor, happiness is brought to you by sleeping in the bed. When you've gone a day without food, happiness is brought to you in that first simple meal. Going without, boys, you must learn this. Going without makes you happier. You must regularly endure pain in order to appreciate the positives of our lives. The, the aim is to not make life so easy and happy every single day. Get used to the pain. You need the days of pain because that's what makes that one day of pleasure, that one day of bliss so, so sweet. Without those five days of pain, without those five days of hardship, if they're all days, mediocre days of comfort, boys, you're going to resign yourselves to a life of misery because that, that is not how we're meant to be as men. We are meant to challenge ourselves. We are meant to rise to the occasion. So boys... I believe in every single one of you. I know that hardly any of you will take on this challenge and even few will complete it. I've also made a sheet with this whole challenge written out. You can download it from Notion so you don't have to watch the video every day. So go download that now. Go drop a comment. Tell me that you're gonna complete the challenge. Drop me a DM on Instagram that you're going into it. And uh, boys, if you need an accountability partner, if you want me to personally be your accountability partner or message you on WhatsApp, Join the Gorilla Tribe down below. I've got all my training programs, how I triple my testosterone, my nutrition. And you get to join our group of 700 plus guys, all on self-development, helping each other in business, fitness, testosterone, women, everything. So boys, check that in the link below. Drop me a private DM if you are doing the challenge. And I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless. Until next time. Whoop-a, whoop-a, whoop-a! Ah!